Hello chess friends and welcome to Yazard of Chess channel and welcome to really one of the most spectacular games played by the latest version of Stockfish, the powerful Stockfish 16s. Today we see the fish battling it out against another top engine, Black Marlin, with the black pieces in the French defense opening. Really, really wild stuff what you see here today because the French defense um, is sort of a positional struggle, positional battle. It's really one of these close setups that um, basically is not giving any, any opponent any advantage in the beginning. You have to really struggle just maybe to improve one single piece in the opening stage. But how the fish is playing the static openings is really, really crazy because in the middle game stage, again, the stockfish engine will let the position explode with great tactics all over the board. So pay good attention, in my opinion. If yourself are a French defense player, you'll like this game for sure because stockfish applied many, many cool tactical ideas in this beautiful, beautiful and epic game. So let's see now what happened with the white pieces. The black modern engine opened with the move E4. Stockfish response was the E6 the French defense we have now the move d4 and now after move d5 we have knight to c3 the Paulson variation knight to f6 the classical variation after move e5 we have reached now the Steinitz variation knight to d7 uh, leads of course into this blocked out pawn structures white as i mentioned many times is simply attacking the king side with f4 uh, f5 g4 g5 moves on the other hand black is attacking the queen side with c5 uh, b5 if possible so uh, these are this opposite side attack games because the pawns are showing you always the direction of the attack so you see the small pawn chain of white is showing that actually white should attack the king side black is of course attacking the queen side we have f4 c5 as promised really really a wild attack already here by both engines so knight you have three we have bishop to e7 bishop to e3 and now king side castling played by stockfish 16 queen to d2 here the black marlin is preparing queen side castle and also to launch the flank attack uh here on the king side b6 we have king side uh, queen side casting and now a very interesting choice by stockfish c4 expanding simply on the queen side but this move c4 is doing a certain thing it blocks out your potential activity of the light square bishop so it's almost like you cannot count anymore on your light square bishop but you see how stockfish will find a way to get this bishop into the game so far it's really the worst piece on the board because it's blocked out by your own pawn structure but in the later stage maybe it can ba get back into the game so now a very interesting choice by uh, the black modern engine f5 of course you cannot take e takes f5 wouldn't be good because then the knight comes here on d5 and this pawn is then weak also this pawn is weak also there are some tactics with e6 that's many times uh, the issue e6 is then letting the position explode in front of black's king so that's why you cannot really touch the pawn on f5 here stockfish found an interesting choice played now the beautiful b5 sideline so this position has been played now many many times in chess history i see here 17 winning games by black uh, seven, uh, 17 w uh, winning games also by white so i've uh, see that it's popular to play this opening from white or from black's perspective so it's really an unbalanced position now for both sides so after move b5 we have now an interesting choice also by black marlin f6 and this is the way to go uh, for instance, if you play, of course, now knight to b5, then it's okay here to take and then uh, we'll have a protection with bishop to b7 of this uh, square uh, d5. We can also play knight to b6 as a good defensive resource and maybe fix the structure with bishop to e6. So now I think this uh, sideline wouldn't be good here for uh, for white. So that's why f6 here by the black modern engine. Really, really interesting choice because already many things can go wrong if black doesn't react correctly here. For, for instance, after move f6, stockfish played g takes f6. But now bishop to h6 played by black marlin and stockfish has now basically two choices you have to retreat with the rook or you simply leave the rook and maybe get your king out of this mess stockfish played a brilliant move played now the move king to h8 for instance if you try rook to e8 if you try to get out of this mess if you try to get out of the attack of the bishop then the issue is do you get this one queen to f4 is almost like winning here for white I'm not saying it's completely winning, but this is such an unpleasant position to handle because the main threat is now queen to g6 and maybe in some lines even deliver checkmate. You have to play something like, I don't know, knight to f8. Still, uh, this work is working. E takes f6. You pick up now the pawn with uh, bishop to f6, but now with queen to g3, you have to cover it now after something like knight to b5 or maybe even h4. Uh, both of these moves are i think good knight to b5 of course very dangerous because of the weakness on c7 that's supported by the queen and also h5 devastating position here for black black and i think resign after a couple more moves so you see this 
um, um, retreating move with the rook is not working. You have to play here king to h8. This is the way they go. Black Martin takes now the exchange. So Stockfish sacrifice now the exchange. But now I think the attack by white is a little bit splashed. You see, okay. You took now uh, the rook, but you would love, I think, to still you have to have your Darko bishop on the war where, where you could at least create some kind of attacking chance. In the continuation, we have now e takes f6, knight to f6, and knight to b5 by the Black Martin engine. And you see, Black Martin also gained the pawn, but the issue is now that actually the bishop on f1 is blocked out by this uh, c4 pawn. And there's not so much that can be done. There is simply no good way to include this light square bishop into the game. First of all, even if you try here bishop to e2, you can only maybe occupy this diagonal, but on this diagonal you're not attacking anything. Even if you try some concepts like g3 bishop to g2, this structure is pretty healthy and you don't have any more the e-pawn maybe to break the pawn chain with a potential move e4. So this bishop, we can say, is really, really out of game. Also, what's the issue is that the b-file is now open and finally uh, black has opportunities to attack some, somehow the queen side. The knight is also misplaced. You can maybe get it on e5, but it can be challenged immediately with knight to d7. So the compensation that black has here for the lost exchange, for the lost rook, for the bishop, is I think pretty decent here. It's perfectly fine because I think we can have here great chances. Also, for instance, the knight can come on e4. So I really don't want to show you now what happens if that happens. I wanted to show you that basically black has here really good chances to make something also in this very, very dynamic position in the middle game stage. Knight to c6, normal development by the fish. We have knight to c3, retreating move by Black Martin. Black Martin sensed some tactical possibilities on the b-file, played now defensively good move, knight to c3. Stockfish continues with the normal plan, rook to b8, we have rook to e1, queen to uh, d8, and now knight to d1. Trying, of course, to liberate the second rank, connect the queen now to the defense of the pawn on b2. We have now bishop to d7. This is a good move because whatever white is doing now, for instance, you try knight to e5, we can play the knight takes e5, and then after d takes e5, knight to e4, the bishop will come here on e8, or after this continuation that the black marlin played knight to g5, here Stockfish has the opportunity to retreat on uh, e8 anyway, and uh, protect this pawn on, on f7. So, okay. Again, I would not say that this is the optimal bishop here on, uh, on e8. It's not, of course, attacking anything so far on the queen side, but... As a good defensive setup, I think this is working. The structure, bishop on e7, uh, pawn on f7. So, so far, B white has really, really big trouble to include more attackers into the game. So, here, bishop to e2 by Black Martin. Desperately trying to get somehow the pieces back into the game. We have h6 by Stockfish, kicking away the knight. Knight to h3, and now king to g7. Brave decision by the Stockfish engine, um, exposing the king a little bit here on the g file. But so far, as I said, no good pieces can be included here. Here by white into the attack. Knight to f2, we have queen to b6, uh, threatening some tactics around the square b2. We have c3, connecting now the queen to the square b2, and now queen to a5, attacking the pawn. Uh, king protects the pawn, and now rook to b6. Knight to rook, nice rook click, of course, threatening a rook to a6, and again, some tactics here uh, on the a file. So we have g4. Uh, Black Martins is desperately trying out some counter attacks here uh, on the king side, and now rook to a6 anyway. We have b3, connecting as I said, the queen to the protraction of the pawn on a2, and now a beautiful move here also by uh, Stockfish, knight to d7, which is not allowing here the black marlin engine to play the move g5. g5 would be devastating, then the queen would probably come with a beautiful tempo into the game. So knight to d7, nice defensive move here by Stockfish. Also, from this square, we can use it maybe to play knight to f8, and then maybe lock the g5 by playing the move knight to g6. Really, really nice, interesting uh, maneuvers possible here by, uh, by Black's knight in order to defend the king. So, what do you do now in this particular position? Black Marlin played the move h4, but even if you try, for instance, something like g5, if you want to play really, really aggressively here, if you want to open the position in front of Black's king immediately, still this is not working because after bishop to g5, it seems so that something went wrong here for Black uh, because after move rook to g1 and f6, h4 seems like a tempting idea maybe to trap the bishop, but look at this. Actually, this is working. Look at this. This is a def beautiful defensive resource, this intermediate check. Uh, by the bishop, bishop to g6 hits the king and now we can afterwards pick up the queen. Really, really wild stuff. So uh, this is not working. So that's why after knight to d7, first h4, 
was played by the Black Marlin engine. Stockfish continue now with the move f6, protecting this square g5. So you see, Stockfish has to also worry something about uh, here on the king side. But now, again, h5 was played by the Black Marlin engine. Even if you again play aggressively immediately with the move g5, then again f takes g5, h takes g5, bishop to g6 immediately. You step back and now after bishop to g5, the queen drops back and now, for instance, this line is winning the game immediately, deflecting the queen. Uh, here from the defense of the square uh, of the square a2 and now if you pick up the bishop you get checkmated by the rook and queen's activity so see this line is also devastating for white so that's why f move f6 black marlin played now the move at h5 but this is the move that stockfish has been waiting for now f move h5 the move g5 is probably never going to happen anymore in this game because the g5 score is now taken by both of the pawns. So there's simply no further progressive idea by white to open the position in front of black's king. So this whole attack is splashed, I think, on the king side. And now basically the whole game is coordinated towards the queen side. There are only attacking chances on this side or on the queen side. No further attacking chances on the king side. Very, very nice defensive, but also counter-attack play here by uh, Stockfish 16. So we have now after move h5, the brilliant move, knight takes d4. Again, a spectacular move played by Stockfish 16. Here, of course, obviously you cannot take because uh, the queen is hanging on d2. But Black Marlin battled in this way. b4, we have queen to a3. We have... Um, uh, c takes d4 of course you cannot take with the queen because of the problems of the square a2 you have to take it now with the pawn but now the bishop is coming in a beautiful beautiful and spectacular way into the game we have now queen to b2 trying to trade off the queens but uh, white would love i think now to simplify the game by trading off more pieces but of course toffers is not interested he is also the rook here on e1 we have rook from e to f1 we have a rook to b6 threatening some tactics on the b file both of these very important pieces the queen and uh, the king and the queen are of course on the b file so that's why uh black marlin drops back with the king on a1 and now bishop to d2 uh, deflection, oh, pardon me, not the deflection, of course, the discovery attack against the queen. We have queen to c2, and now the last beautiful move of this build game, really, really a nice final touch, really a calm move, knight to f8, liberating now the long diagonal for the light square bishop, and there is now nothing that can you can do against this possibility of um, bishop to a4, even if you try something like, I don't know, knight to b2, then here bishop to c3 is going to work, rook takes b2 is also working with bishop to c3, so there's simply too many, too many tactical opportunities here for um, uh, for black. So that's why after move knight to f8, we have g5. Again, the black modern engine desperately tried now to open the position, but now look at this. With bishop to a4, actually the queen is even trapped. The queen doesn't have any more good squares. In the game, we had g takes f6, king to h8. Both of the squares are taken by the knight. The queen doesn't have any squares at all. Here we have the continuation of queen to b2, rook takes b2, we had knight to b2, and after bishop to b3, the game is over. You can just prolong the game by bringing on more pieces, but now after move queen to a2, it was a beautiful, beautiful checkmate here. So, really stunning game. Incredible, incredible attack here by Stockfish 16 in the French defense with the black pieces. Giving up the exchange at the beginning, but then afterwards putting more pressure against uh, the castle king on the queen side. Really amazing, thrilling game. In my opinion, really beautiful, theoretical, but also spectacular tactical game here played by Stockfish 16. So, okay, I hope that you enjoyed this game. I really enjoyed it a lot. If you want to see more epic and beautiful and brutal tactical games like this, check out our Comp to Chess games played by Computer Series here on my YouTube chess channel. Here's the link of the playlist. And if you like this content, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you soon with some more videos. And what do we say? Chess is the best of course.